Hello everyone, today I wanted to get some more of these warped fungus, and I didn't really have a good way to get them. So, what I did was I made a farm, I designed a farm for them, and it's really simple, and doesn't use up a lot of bone meal. It does use a lot of hoppers, so... Actually, it can use less than this. It uses a bit less than this, but I'll show you how it works, and then I'll show you how to build it. So, what happens is the water is on a timer, and every so often, the... Oh, a little bit does get stuck here, but it's not that much to really matter. You don't really lose a lot of anything. See, there's so much that it's stuck in these hoppers. So, um, how it works is that the water comes up and then gets retracted back in there. And when it's not there, the dispensers all around here are bone mealing the ground, which um, make the plants grow. And... I think I am running out of bone meal on some of these, yeah. But, yeah, so you have these two circuits, this clock, which powers all the dispensers, and then you have this timer down here. So, um, let's get started. The space that you need for this farm is going to be 11 by 11 for the main uh, square bit and then you need a little bit more in the front if you want to have the clock in the front or in the back it doesn't matter where you put the clock um, but if you're gonna copy this right here then it has to be in the front and then you're gonna need room for the hoppers to collect into one chest so now we can get started what you need to do, and I'm going to build this a bit high up so it'll be easier for me to get under. What you're going to do first is build a 9x9 nine nine platform with any either nylium that you want. Either the crimson or the warped nylium. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... And then I can take it out three more and just fill this in. It really shouldn't take too long. And then once you complete that, what you're going to do is not put in the corners because that's where your collecting hoppers are going to go. And then also knock out this center one because that's where your water is going to come out now you want a dispenser in there not this one empty dispenser put a water bucket in there and then under there you'll probably make this at ground level so you can just dig a little hole under this but right under here you're going to have your sticky piston and redstone block it should be so that the redstone block is right next to the dispenser. And there's one water bucket in there. You don't need any more than one water bucket. Now, what you're going to do is build a little platform. Just like this. About five blocks long. And then have it be one block away from the piston. And you can connect it up by that. Uh, I forgot to get a repeater. There we go. So you're just going to put your repeaters like this, and I forget exactly what delay you have them on, but I'm just going to do that for right now. And then to power it, you do need to put a redstone block or a redstone torch there 
um, for just a second. So it should be it should be five repeaters in total with full ticks on them. And I just broke the redstone signal. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So five repeaters set to four ticks, just like this, right under there. Now that is the entire situation that you need for the uh, water dispensing mechanism. Now right under here, you're going to want... Oh, gee. Just like this, on um, all of the corners, you're going to want to have your dispensers. And I have them filled up with bone meal, but they really don't have to be full for you to get much. Because it is very... It really only uses what it has to use. Now... This will be the last one. Now what you need to do is decide... Uh-oh, okay. You need to decide where the front is going to be. So I'm going to use this side as the front. And what needs to happen is... Your hoppers around like this and then you have your chest here so your hoppers can go oh dear I have trouble placing them in creative mode while I'm flying they go just around here can put them right up next to the dispensers, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that it collects it on both sides up into that chest. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Alright, now that all the hoppers are in place, we can put the border around so that the water will space itself out like it needs to. Also, while you're doing this, make sure that you have bone meal on hand if you happen to put a block on top of any of this nylium, because then if you use bone meal, it'll turn back into a uh, Nylium. Alright. You have your chest out like this. Now you could make this a blackstone stair, but... I just didn't. You could, though, if you want. Now you... You actually need at least one of these corners, and then you need these two front corners. But you don't need, uh, you don't need one of the back corners, it's up to you, but you might as well just put them all. Like, what's the point? So, wherever you have your clock, you're gonna want to, so I'm gonna put mine in the back. Uh, you're gonna want to place a block out like this in the middle. And then a little square like that, and then another block. And right here, you're going to put a comparator and set it to subtract mode. And put redstone dust around here like this. And then right out 
right, uh, right here, you want a lever, and you can turn this clock on and off. This one doesn't really matter, but you can turn it off by taking out one of these redstone pieces, but then you have to turn it back on. But that's no problem. Um, how you do this is you place two repeaters right like this. Bring the redstone along the side. And that should do it, I think. Yep, that's going to do it. So you can bring it around just to right here. And your farm is done. No, it's not. I lied. Um, on one of these sides, you're going to need to plop down a repeater where you stopped and continue it along like this. Now you're almost done. You need to get warped trapdoors, or any trapdoors, I just happen to have warped ones, and place them along the top like this. So this way nothing will escape, and also you can just walk right over this if you want, and you won't pick up much of anything. So you can have it right in the floor, and you'll see the redstone, but it's not it's not like you have to put it so out of your way that you won't see it because you can just walk right on it it's not like you're gonna mess it up this does get a little boring with the trapdoors also you're gonna need 81 trapdoors if you're wondering or just can't do basic math 9 by 9 you know, it's a 9x9 nine nine square. If you do put a trapdoor onto the wall, it's going to end up flicking around like that. And you want it to be the block on the lower part of the block above those. You don't want it inside of that block. You want it right where the redstone is. So now you are done. As you can see, all the stuff is coming in right here. Um, this is stuff I had from the other one. It's very fast, and then if you want to make a little sorting system, I will show you how in the next episode, and it'll show you how to sort out all the warp roots so that they can be composted. Now that is the entire farm, and I'll see you in the next episode.